My name is Andrew Ray. I make a YouTube channel called Binging with Babish where I recreate the foods from movies and television. I started quite by accident. Uh, I had bought a camera and a light uh, to do some freelance work and I decided, you know, I'm just gonna set up my kitchen, see if I can come up with an interesting lighting setup for a cooking show. I found something that I liked and I was like, I'm just gonna make one just for fun. The first episode that I did was the Chris Traeger versus Ron Swanson burger cook-off and uh, people really liked it so I kept making it and just kept, kept it alive as a hobby and then uh, one episode sort of blew up. It was the um, Moist Maker Thanksgiving sandwich episode from Friends and uh, that got reblogged a bunch and it netted me like 50,000 subscribers and from that point on I decided I'm going to start making the show every week. And I did, and it, this show grew steadily, and then around June, afforded me the opportunity to make it my full-time job and leave my, my day job. It's a very tangible way to experience your favorite movie or TV show. The things that you want most to be a part of or to experience yourself, it's a way to bring it right into your own home and try it firsthand. The worst thing I've ever made by far, and I don't think this will ever be topped, was milk steak from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, which was a ribeye steak boiled in milk. Charlie ordered it boiled over hard, which is just it's just like a well done steak that's been boiled in milk and then topped with jelly beans. And the jelly beans were almost immaterial because it, uh, a, a steak boiled in milk, it, it just, the texture and the flavor was so offensive that I, I've never spit anything out immediately. Uh, I've usually at least tried to swallow it even if it's disgusting. And that was, that was offensively bad, like really, really bad. It's totally surreal to have a million and a half plus subscribers and to keep constantly growing and to be getting recognized on the street and, and things like that. It's completely surreal. I'm never gonna get used to it. I'm never gonna get tired of it either. It's magic to me. The ability to express oneself creatively is being democratized and that's amazing. Like that's really exciting time to be alive. It's also frightening because it just means that there's a lot more competition out there. But as always, it's not the wand, it's the wizard. My patrons mean a great deal to me because uh, they're the ones who have truly enabled this to happen and have truly made the show happen. They pay for the roof over my head, they pay my rent, my electricity bill. Um, now we live in a time where anyone with an original idea or voice or something to share can be heard or seen by millions of people. And it's thanks to, to services like Patreon.